this, this preaching by telling you that the Lord is doing still something great in us. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, still be excited. Siyempre, pag excited kayo, masaya niyo sinasabi sa katabi niyo. Amen? Praise the Lord. And with that, can I allow everyone to just please rise and uh, join with me in reading the Word of God. And our title for today is about Persistent Hope, a lesson or lessons learned in the life of Rahab. And let me uh, ask everyone to join with me, those who have Bibles. I hope everyone has still have their Bibles. Not only depending on the slides, but let us open our Bible in Joshua chapter 2. Hallelujah, verse 1. Join with me in reading this. Amen. Then Joshua secretly sent out two spies for the Israelite camp at Akasha Grove. He instructed them, scout out the land on the other side of the Jordan River, especially around Jericho. So the two men set out and came to the house of a prostitute named Rahab and stayed there that night. But someone told the king of Jericho, some Israelites have come here tonight to spy out the land. So the king of Jericho sent orders to Rahab, bring out the men who have come into your house, for they have come here to spy, uh, spy out the whole land. Verse 4, then Rahab had hidden the two men. But she replied, yes, the men were here earlier, but I didn't know where they were from. They left the town at dusk as the gates were about to close, and I don't know where they went. If you hurry, you can probably catch up with them. Now let's go to, the, to verse 6. Actually, she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them from beneath bundles of flax she, lay, she had laid out. So the king's men went looking for the spies along the road leading to the shallow crossings of the Jordan River. And as soon as the king's men had left, the gate of Jericho was shut. Before the spies went to sleep that night, Rahab went up on the roof to talk with them. I know the Lord has given you this land, she told them. We are all afraid of you. Everyone in the land is living in terror. For we have heard how the Lord made a dry path for you through the Red Sea. And when you left Egypt, and we know that you did to Sihon and Og, the two Amorites king east of the Jordan River, whose people you completely destroyed. No wonder our hearts have been melted in fear. No one has the courage to fight after hearing such things. For the Lord your God is the supreme God of the heavens above and the earth below. And then let's proceed to the next verse. Now swear to me by the Lord that you will be the king to me and my family since I have helped you. Give me some guarantee that when Jericho is conquered, you will let me live along with my father and my mother, my brothers and sisters and all their families. We offer our own lives as a guarantee for your safety. The men agree. If you don't betray us, we will keep our promise and be kind to you when the Lord gives us the land. Verse 15, then Rahab's house was built into the town wall. She let them down by a rope through the window. Escape to the hill country, she told them. Hide there for three days for the men searching for you. Then, when they have returned, you can go on your way. Before they left, the men told her, We will be bound by the oath we have taken only if you follow this instruction. When we come out in the land, you must leave this scarlet rope hanging from the window through which let us down. And all your family members, your father, your mother, brothers, and all your, sis, your, your relatives must be there inside the house. If they go out in the street and are killed, it will not be our fault. But if anyone lays a hand on people inside this house, we will accept the responsibility for their death. If you betray us, however, we are not bound by this oath in any way. And Rahab said in verse 21, I accept your terms, she replied. And she sent them on their way, leaving the scarlet rope hanging from the 
window. And verse 22, the spies went up into the hill country and stayed there three days. The men who were chasing them searched everywhere along the road, but they finally returned without success. Verse 23, then the two spies came down from the hill country, crossed the Jordan River, and reported to Joshua all that had to them, happened to them. And the Lord has given us the whole land, they said, for all the people in the land are terrified of us. Palakpakan po natin ang salita ng Lord. Can we all be seated? Wow, what a great story. And... I know probably when these young people read this uh, story, they probably imagining, wow, that's really a very great responsibility and a challenge taken place, not took place by Rahab. I came to realize when I'm reading this story, in life, there is a lot of challenges and always a choice whether you will persist or not. I was, I think, I was three years old then, who are three years old here, three or four. And you know what, it, all of us knew that when we study in the Philippines, bata pa lang, di ba, grade 1 pa lang, memorize na ang multiplication. Do you remember that, yung mga young at heart? And I was, I think, grade 2, when my mom is teaching me multiplication, and I can't memorize. Kaya po nag-psychology si Pastor Ray, magaling ako sa math eh. I, I not really love mathematics, but... That's why I took psychology, uh, less lang yung math. <laughs> so I was two or three years old. I remember that. At sa Pilipinas, pag magkamali ka, anong gagawin sa kamay mo? Right? Totoo yan, mga kabataan, young people. You have to memorize multiplication. Uh, I think grade three. That's why I remember. I'm grade three, grade two, grade three. You have to memorize the multiplication. And every time I recite that multiplication, I cannot do it up to ten. Diba? One time is one, one, one time is two, hanggang ten. And if I missed one, I have to go back from the start. Can I see the who experience that? Diba? Pinipitik yung kumay, mm, malik, balik. And I have to persist and I have to do it well so I can graduate doon sa by ten, doon sa, sa scale na yon. And there was a time, I remember, because hindi ko siya ma-memorize, I cannot memorize it. I told to my mom, tatagalugin ko muna para maganda ang delivery. Sabi ko, ayoko na pong mag-aral, nay. Paglulutuan ko na lang kayo ng lugaw. That's what I said. Mom, I cannot memorize this multiplication table. I'd rather stop studying. I'll just cook porridge for you. And that is what I always tell to my mom. But to no avail, I have to memorize still the multiplication. What a persistent. And I remember, sabi ko, Lord, kung huminto ako, sigurado kilala niyo ako sa Divisoria, nagtitinda ako ng lugaw. O baka pag napunta kayo ng Divisoria, nakabili kayo ng lugaw ko. A story of a reality that in life, you cannot avoid hurts and pain. You will definitely pass those stages of life. And the moment you resist, the further you are to your destiny. Habang lumalayo ka at nagre-resist ka, papalayo ka naman sa destiny mo. But the more you persist, the closer you are to the victory. Amen? Tasang kamay po ng mga mag-asawa. Who are the couples here? Isn't it a victory that you married your spouse? Parang malungkot po kayo. Pumalakpak po, you're happy that you had a victory having your spouse in your life. You persist. That's why you get closer. Huwag niyo pong tingnan yung asawa niyo. Sumagot na lang po kayong tama ang naging decision niyo. Amen? And you know what? Sabi ko, Lord, talagang tunay. We have to go and move on. And we need to persist. Dahil po ang katotunganan. How many days do we have? Before the end of 2023, uh, 2022. We have, I think, still 100 days 
Diba? We still have 104 days before the end of 2022. Wow! Pero may tanong po si Paz, how many lists in your goals remain undone? Can you still do it in 104 days? Do you still have enough strength to move? Are you still motivated to finish your race? Or you want it just to leave it behind? Wow! Taas ang kamay may mga ano pa undone list sa kanilang plano this 2022. Kung plano niyo po mag-asawa, medyo huli na po. No? Palanuhin na lang next year uli. Kung maghahanap pa lang po kayo na makakasama sa buhay. Medyo late na po. Pero may himala, sabi ng Panginoon. Amen? So, 98 days or 104 days before the end of this year, still, do you still have enough strength to go forward? Are you still persistent to get your goal? Or you're trying to waver already? And I said, Pass, I'm getting tired. I think I need to give up. Why I'm giving you this question? Because today I'm going to tell you a story about Rahab, who's known as being a prostitute, or what we call, they call it in that uh, year before, is that they call it the, the harlot. So just to give a pointers to ponder so that you can uh, go with me in studying the life of Rahab. Sino pong gustong malaman ng buhay ni Rahab? Amen? Kumain na po ba kayo? Pumalakpak po lahat ng gustong matuto at malaman ang himala ng Diyos sa buhay ni Rahab. Amen! Praise be to God! Pag-usapan po natin si Rahab. Medyo konting magmamarites po tayo sa buhay ni Rahab ngayon. Amen? So, 40 years after the Israelite had left Egypt, they were finally able to leave the desert and enter to the promised land. Take note, nung nawala na po si Moses, it's Joshua who took over. And Joshua and Caleb have a background. Kung paano tumawid ng Red Sea, kung paano lahat na experience nila. And then, however, the promised land was under the control of other nations. And that is why Joshua had to send two spies secretly. Sabi niyo nga po, secretly. Magtatanong kayo, Pastora, binigay, bakit kailangan pang isikreto? There's a reason behind later. Because we will attack a heavily fortified city. When you say a fortified city, a strong city, magag matitibay ang mga pader, no? Using conventional warfare tactics. So, he needed a strategic information about the city for the upcoming battle. Kaya, he sent these two spies. And according to commentary, some of the commentary says, sino kaya yung dalawang spies na yon? It is what? Sabi nila, isa doon ay si, si Caleb. No? And Joshua also show wisdom by sending them secretly the last time that spies that went out publicly, it turned out badly for Israel. Pagbabalikan niyo po yung Numbers 13, dun po nagsimula at nakilala. How many spies that Moses sent? Twelve. Sinong nagbigay ng good report? Joshua and Caleb. And this time, because of the learnings Joshua learned before, during the leadership of Moses, this time, sabi ni Joshua, sikreto na lang ako magpapadala kasi maraming ano eh, marichu. Diba? Maraming uh, nag, nag-discourage. So I'm just gonna send two secretly to spies and make inventory of the land. So that is what happened kung bakit kailangan magpadala ng spies. And these two spies was able to meet a harlot woman named Rahab. O tawag sa kanya, harlot or prostitute. He is a Canaanite woman living in Jericho and Rahab is a prostitute wherein in the book of Hebrew, na bago yung title niya. Naging isa siya sa mga heroes no? of faith. And based on some commentary, she was 10 years old. Who are 10 years old here? 10 years old. When the Israelite came out of Egypt and she pursued her immoral calling during the 40 years that the Israelites were wandering in the wilderness, naparahamak siya, napariwara yung buhay niya. 10 years old siguro, 
uh, inano na siya, no? na-engage niya sa prostitution. Nakikita niya yung gulo ng buhay. And there was not a prince, sabi doon sa commentary, nor a ruler that had not had a relationship with her. And she was therefore well informed of what is going on outside the Jericho. So yun po si Rahab. Pastora, ano po yung clinch nito? One, why do the spies stop at the house of Rahab, the prostitute? Bakit kailangan na itong mga spies na to dumaan pa doon sa prostitute? No? Doon matagpuan. For one reason, it was a good place. Yung bahay po ni Rahab was a good place to gather information and have no question asked in return. Alam niya po, in Joshua's day, it is a common to build houses on city wall. And yung two walls is about, parang sabi dun sa commentary, 12 to 15 feet apart. Houses were built on a wooden logs, laid across the tops of the two walls, and Rahab was, what, have lived in such a house with window that look out over the wall. So in short, yung bahay po ni Rehab boundary, nakikita niya doon. Kaya maraming customer. Kayo pala siya. Ganun strategic yung bahay ni Rehab. And it says there in commentary, walang mga siguro mga sundalong hindi siya kilala. Kasi yun nga ang kanyang job. And God directed the spies to Rahab house because he knew na kahit anuman si Rahab, God can change the heart of anyone. Palakpanan po natin ang Panginoon. So, let us go dig deeper. Eh, pastora, nagsinungaling si Rahab eh. Bakit ginamit yun? Was Rahab justified in lying to save the lives of the spies? Actually, the Bible simply reports that Rahab's lie, hindi yun kinanggal sa Biblia. It does not praise, not even excuse his lying. Rahab's lie is not justified, but it does show courage. Mamaya makikita nyo, bakit ganito? Why persistent hope? Because in Hebrew 11.31, Rahab is commended from being a harlot. Makikita po ninyo when you read the book of Joshua 2, uh, Joshua, this our text, in the book of Joshua chapter 2, ang lagi niyang title, even on the preceding chapters, laging ang karugtong, Rahab the harlot, Rahab the prostitute. Napakasakit po nun. Do you know that in our culture in the Philippines, pag tinawag tayo, di ba, may alias. Ay, si Pedro, Si Pedro ang 5657. Bakit 5657? May kapit bayo kami noon. O si Johnny, sino yung Johnny? Marami ho kasi Johnny. Si Johnny yung 5657. Kasi nga may diferensya pag guman ang 56, pag 57. E ito, ang pangalan ni Rahab, Harlot. Every time that she is being called by the person Oh, Rahab the harlot. Okay lang sana, no? If our name will be tagged after, Oh, Rahab, the dynamic worship leader. It's a different call. But he was being a faith. No, by faith, the prostitute, God turned his life into something. And take note of this. If we're going to look further in the study of Rahab, makikita po natin, even yung kanyang pagsisinungaling, it has been, it was not justified because there are some reason. Her lie is not mentioned, but her faith was mentioned. Probably, and I believe, even though Rahab lied, God forgave Rahab's life because of her faith. Amen? Rahab is simply what? Deceiving the enemy, which during that time is just a normal tactic sa anumang war time. It is access accessible. I remember my father is also a, a soldier. Talagang kailangan may strategy. Sabi nila sa history, ang, sino bang nanalo? Si Magellan, si Lapu-Lapu. Yung totoo pong sagot, hindi po yung kusinero. Sino naglaban? Magellan and Lapu-Lapu. Eh, si Daddy Butch, kabisadong history. Si Magellan, di ba po, Daddy? O si Lapu-Lapu, nakalimutan na natin? 
Pero alam niyo po, there was one history. Mag-review po tayo. Kailangan reviewin pa rin natin ng history. I, I, I appreciate one of the story of the revolt in the Philippines, which is the Gohoy. The Gohoy, the Gohoy. The reason why we won in the revolt, because their enemy miscalculated the weather and miscalculated yung pag-ano dun sa tubig. So, ano pong pinapoint ni Pas dito? What Rahab did during that time, even though he lied, he simply what? Trying to deceive the enemy because that time, acceptable yun eh. Kung ano mang meron si Rahab that time, later makikita natin bakit niya kaya ginawa ito. Because Rahab is not a Jew, she could not held responsible for keeping the moral standard set forth in God's law. Kung baga parang sa kanya, he know God by, by the words of mouth. Mga naririnig niya siguro sa mga customer niya. And take note based on commentary, it says there that this Rahab the harlot had a lot of chance, a customer na mga sundalo. Siguro habang uh, may client siya, kinikwento niya, oh, na, ang, na, ang lalaki ng mga Israelita, nakakatakot, matapang lang tayo kasi may mga armas tayo. So those are the things that basically would like to tell. But take note of this, Rahab's lying was not justified because for, for me, Rahab broke a lesser principle. Telling the truth to, to uphold a higher principle and protecting God's people. There are many ways no, to save the life of Israel. But the pressure that time was in Rahab. Bakit? Maybe this Rahab is excitingly awaiting that one day gusto niya nang makalaya sa buhay niya sa pagiging prostitute. And he want to be freed. Now, these are the some initial observation about Rahab's character. One, Rahab is very hospitable. In verse 4 and 5 of Joshua chapter 2, it says there, Rahab had hidden the two men, but she replied, Yes, the men were here earlier, but I didn't know where they from. They left the town at dusk. If you hurry, you can probably catch up with them. So Rahab's faith saved her family and played a key role in the Israelite success over Jericho. Look at me po. Isang prostitute. Let us say, Rahab is an acceptable person. But God used her life to save the Israelites. Maybe at this point of time, you have a very dark past of your life. At ayaw na ayaw mong balikan yung nakaraan mo. But lahat po ng nakaraan nyo, your past mistakes and failure have been used by God for where you are right now. Amen? Your past mistakes. And that is why, look at this. Ito pong two spies na to, and they said one of this is Eliezer and the other one is Caleb. And we can see that Rahab probably ka, pwede siya maging hospitable for the sake of business. But this time, Rahab has a motive. There is something. Bakit pinag i nila? Meaning, Rahab is aware of what's going on. This is an opportunity for me to change my life. Church, you may be in the darkest part of your life and you are looking for opportunity. Where will I'm going to change it? Rahab got this big opportunity to persist and change his li her, li her life. Now take note of this. Hindi nga lang po pinapasok, itinago pa niya. She gave an extended help to the person. These two spies, his hospitality put his own life to risk. Kung tutusin, pwede siyang mabisto eh. Amen? Pangalawang character po ni Rahab. She is a risk taker. Sabi niyo nga po, risk taker. Ako ho, medyo risk taker ako minsan. But there are risk takers that is what we call calculated risk. Amen? And... Pastor, ako rin po, risk taker. Pag clearance, binibili ko lahat yun. 
Risk taker ako. <laughs> Verse 6. Actually, she had taken them up to the roof and hidden them from beneath the bundles of the flax she had laid out. What a wonderful and what a gold wisdom and discernment. Tingnan niyo po, let's example, you are the Rahab. Why I am going to keep these two spies? Where in fact, mapapahamak ako. But that time, Rahab found this opportunity that this is now the moment to change my life's history. Marami po tayong turn around sa buhay natin when we go here in Canada. Amen po? We change a lot of things. We take the risk. Where are we going to start? Paano tayo magsisimula? And that is how everyone has been scared. Pangatlo po, na character po ni Rahab, she is observant. Verse 11, 9, 11, I know that the Lord has given you this land, she told them. We are all afraid of you, for we heard how the Lord made a dry path for you through the Red Sea. Alam po ni Rahab yung nangyayari, how victorious the Israelites' army are. Sabi nga natin, baka nakikwento ng mga naging customer niya. And no wonder our hearts are melted. If you are the two spies, and you hear it from Rahab, which is within that community, lalakas ang loob mo, takot pala sa amin itong mga to. Kwento pa lang, takot na. Hindi pa namin sinusugod, takot na. Alam niyo po, nalagi ko pong nababanggit, every time always mention here, Dahil nga po lumaki ako sa tundo, ang, ang estilo po doon, unahan, either ikaw ang matakot o ikaw ang manakot. Kaya dapat huwag kang magpatakot. That's how we're being, you know, set our mind, our mindset in that area. Same thing. So, you will see that Rehab is so observant. Take note, hindi lang siya hospitable. Hindi lang siya, hallelujah, hindi lang siya risk taker. He saw it as her opportunity. Third thing, she is observant. Alam niya. Marami pong tao gusto na nilang umalis sa buhay nila. Opportunities are coming to and fro on their faces, on their pathway, but they're not observant. They just what? Become, I'm comfortable with this. And take note, even Rahab knew how the Lord fought for the Israelites in the Red Sea. Pang-apat po, isa sa karakter ni Rahab, she's a good negotiator. Siyempre, dahil may business siya. Diba? Although hindi maganda yung kanyang negosyo. But now, swear to me by the Lord that you will be kind to me and my family. When Rahab see that this is her opportunity to change her life, ang sabi niya, you were going to what? Save my family. Tingnan niyo po kung gaano kapag kalaving si, si Rahab. She's a very good negotiator. I want my father. Take note when you're going to read again this verse, this chapter. She said specifically, ang gusto niyang mag-benefit sa ginawa niyang pag-take ng risk. Who else? Who are that? The mother, the father, the brothers, the sisters, and their families. Imagine how persistent Rahab is. Gusto niyang mabago yung buhay niya. And dito na po tayo pupunta. What are the seven principles of persistent hope that I was able to learn and drew in the life of Rahab? One, I've known and realized in life, it is not how the journey starts. Again, as I've said, Rahab, even though she is a harlot, she chose that time, that time, nung meron ng opportunity to find and put a seed of faith when I give this big decision to help these spies, I believe my life will be changed. When you come to the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you give your step of faith. That's why your life has been changed from glory to glory and to glory. Amen! A lot of people doesn't want to persist in their life. I want to just stay here, pastora. Okay na ako dito. But the Lord is giving here, bakit ayaw mong mag-move on? Because I have this in life. I have the mistake. I already failed in that season. I don't want to experience another mistake. You know what? It is not how your journey starts. 
Your past does not have to determine your future. Kung ano mang dumi ng buhay nyo sa nakaraan is not a determinant for what the Lord prepared for you in the future. Amen? Sino pong mag-aakala isang batang taga-tundo, taga-kuha ng kanin baboy? Diba? Nagka-peklat sa noo dahil nakikipag-away. Dahil buhay tundo, binago ng Diyos. Ngayon, pinagpapalat na kapaglilingkod sa Kanya. Sino kayo na noon? Pag pinataas ko yung kamay, sino dito? Bata pa lang para pumasok kayo lang magtinda. Para makapasok kayo. Right? Mapalad yung mga anak na may remittance every month. Sa magulang, ano, mga magulang na nag-abroad para makapag-aral ang anak. So your past does not have to determine your future. Like Rahab, pwede niya pong sabihin sa sarili niya, pwede banggitin po dito na, I'm a harlot, yes I am. I don't deny it. But you know what? I want this opportunity that being a harlot, I believe I need to give a seed of faith that I have to change my life. Ano mang ikaw, whatever your life before, it not, doesn't matter now to the Lord. What matters to the Lord right now is you decide to change your life for His glory. Amen. Give a hand to the Lord. It doesn't matter how the journey starts. Your destiny can take you to places much farther, no further than your beginnings. You need to step out of your issues. Marami pong hindi makamove because inakap na nila yung issues ng buhay nila. And to their destiny, knowing your true self is the best thing we can do from the circumstances surrounding your past. Yun po yung nakita ko kay Rahab. I don't care of my past. I don't care of my hurts and my pain. But this time, I saw these two spies. I have the opportunity and I need to persist to save my life, my family. Alam niyo po, I was so blessed with Rahab. May damdamin siya, may puso. Bakit po? She's not only looking for herself, but she's looking for the future of her family. Number two principle that I've learned in the life of Rahab Nakita ko po sa kanya dito, be ready for an open opportunity to change. It pays to have knowledge and to use what you know to get what you need. Isa pong paalala ito. When Rahab able to talk to the, to the spies, I'm so amazed that he was not stick on what? Naku, bakit hindi ako paniwalaan ito? Can they believe me if I'm going to negotiate? Can they trust me? I'm a harlot. Hindi eh. What valids Rahab's statement to the spies? Nung sinabi niyang, alam niyo, alam kong maraming ginagawa ang Diyos sa inyo. How you cross the Red Sea. Rahab was well informed of God's miracles doing in the life of the Israelites. Be ready for open opportunity. When Rahab sees that, ako ho naniniwala when you share the gospel to your loved ones, kung hindi man sila tumanggap ngayon, naniniwala ako walang salita ng Diyos na hindi mamumunga. One day, our loved ones will be saved and they will accept the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. This is what happened to Rahab. Naririnig niya lang. But the faith able to increase knowledge beyond your present. Inaalam niya. Hindi lang yung kumuha siya ng customers, but she wanted to know ano ba yung just na pinaglilingkuran niyo dyan, nagbabago ng buhay. You know what? When you persist to live your destiny, you stay ready. Kapag nag-decide ka, Lord, I need to persist my destiny. Be ready because the Lord will open great doors for you. Amen? Ang Diyos po magbubukas ng doors sa mga taong persistent. Open your eyes and see what is around you. 
So that when it's God's turn to open the door, you won't what? Get ready, but you will be ready for the reward. Ano pong point ni Pastora doon? Don't be caught in what? Caught in the act. Hindi, nyo, hindi kayo nakapaghanda. Ito po yung nakita ko kay Rahab. Ready siya for the opportunity. Probably, hindi pa man dumarating yung mga two spies. Ready na siya that one day, kung meron akong pumunta dito at malaman kong darating na sila at susu- uh, susugurin itong lugar na ito, I will be ready. I need to save my family. Church, in your life, you might be like Rahab. You're still waiting for your opportunity to have breakthrough in your family. I'm telling you, never give up. Keep what? Being persistent. Amen? Let's give a hand to the Lord. Hallelujah! Be persistent. Alam niyo po, naalala ko po, meron kami nga, uh, may kwento po ako nga, uh, uh, medyo joke po ito, para paunahan ko na kayong tumawa kayo after. Oh, salamat po sa tumawa. Ito pong uh, asawang ito ay... Uh, Nalulungkot siya because her husband doesn't want to go to church anymore. But she's so persistent. Go to church. It's been a while you're not going to the church. She keep on telling to, to her husband. Eh, nakulitan because of her persistency. Nakulitan si husband. So si husband ay uh, umatin ng church. At pagdating ng church, nakinig, nabless. Pag-uwi po niya, tuwang-tuwa, binuhat yung asawa. Kinarga, ikinalong, parang baby. Sabi ng sabi ko na, pagkwento, nakikinig talaga kayo. Eh, oh. Gising. Sabi niya, tuwang-tuwa si Mrs. The wife said, Naku, thank you Lord, bless na bless ka siguro sa preaching. Ano ba ang preaching? Ano ba ang preaching? Bakit? Bless na bless ka, binuhat mo ako, kinandong mo ako, kineri mo ako. Ang preaching ba ni pastora o ni pastore, uh, love your wife? Sabi niya, hindi. Ang sabi ni pastor, carry your burden. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Palakbakan natin si Lord. Pero yung nasawa pambihira, I still need to be persistent. Natawa kayo bigla. Carry your... Kaya po mga tatay, huwag niyong buhatin ang yung mga asawa pag-uwi. Hallelujah. Hindi po natakot at the persistency to change her husband. Pangatlo po, trusting God at all times. I know and I believe in my heart, though Rahab, Rahab is a Canaanite, but I know the words that she hear, the victories of the Israelites she heard, adds faith on her. And you know what? I came to a point to think that Leaning and depending to God. Hallelujah. In looking for our destiny is the best decision in life. Trust God. Rhea has a choice not to keep those two spies. Pwede niya na lang sabihing bumaliktad siya. Ah, nag spy pala kayo. I'm gonna tell it to the Jericho king. But she know, she has a strong conviction. This is the moment. Ika nga, this is it. This is it. If you want to persist in like, life like Rahab, learn her principle. He trusts God at all times. Never estimate. Never uh, underestimate. I forgot the word, underestimate. Never underestimate the instinct that God gave you. Alam niyo po, minsan may mga instinct na binibigay ang Lord sa atin. Sinasabi ng Lord, go, proceed, pero ayaw mo. Madalas in the will of God, nakikipag-chacha tayo. Marunong po ba kayo mag-chacha? Diba, when you say chacha, ganon, forward, backward. Kaya hindi maganap ang destiny ng Lord sa buhay natin. The Lord wants us not to do a chacha to Him. The Lord wants us to, to dance swing with Him. Because when you play swing, you go around, you explore the opportunity. Rahab trust the Lord so much even though there's a not a very very strong foundation but her little faith turned into a saving grace of the Israelites kaya wag mong sabihin o oh, maliitin yung sarili mo 
Pastora, ito lang po ako, ito lang kaya ko. Tandaan niyo, walang malaki na hindi nagsimula sa maliit. Kaya wag niyong mamaliitin ang mga maliliit. Amen? Praise the Lord. May magagawa ang Panginoon. God always make miracle in the small things. Amen? When you learn to trust in God. Can we give a hand to the Lord? Because instinct must merge with purpose to give you life that fulfills your destiny. Higit doon. All gifts must be given a place of expression in order to unfold your destiny. Even your talents, even your gifts. How do you trust the Lord? Do you trust Him with all of your heart? Do you trust Him with all with all of your faith? O baka naman, no? You have to know the Lord, your gifts. Dapat yung gifts na yon, alam mong ibinabalik. The Lord is the giver of gifts. Can you trust the Lord with all of your gifts? Rahab have the gift. Probably, siya ay creative, magaling siyang negotiator. Masama at mabuti. Righteous or unrighteous. The Lord gave gift to everyone. And that is why natutunan ni Rahab maging authentic siya. I'm not ashamed of being a harlot. This is my life. But I don't want to stop in this. I need to change my destiny. Amen? Lahat po tayo kaya pumunta ng Canada. Gusto nating mabago ang, ang takbo ng buhay natin sa Pilipinas. Amen po ba? That's why we're here. And God is allowing us. The Lord doesn't want to delay His purpose in us. And the only thing that we need to do like Rahab, I'll need to trust in you, Lord. The next thing, hallelujah, number five, that the Lord wants to impart in our life, never be locked. No, number five, uh, number six na ba ako? Six. Uh, four, rather. Trusting God at all times. And then number four, we have to what? Stay in God's partnership. Medyo nagkamali po at ako ng number eight. Stay in partnership. When you say stay in partnership with God, hallelujah. In this life, when you trust people, you cannot say all throughout it's going to be permanent. But the only thing we can give our trust that is solid in foundation, it is in the Lord. Faith is not only one way. We have to pay attention to the eternal clocks. Ano po yun? Internal clocks. Ibig sabihin, internal clocks, you should not be what? Bound by laziness. Marami po, hindi makausad. Kasi mas marami ang ano, pahinga kaysa sa trabaho. Konting galaw pa lang, pagod na agad. Amen? Hindi ko po pinapagalitan ng CYN. Masisipag ang CYN ng Sherwood Park. Tsaka Port Saskatchewan. Amen? When you say, in the life of, uh, in the life of uh, Rahab, he stay in partnership. Hindi niya uh, in honor niya at hindi niya dinisregard yung commitment niya dun sa two spies. Please, if you're going to do this because I, I, I save you from this man, I am asking this, save my family. He stay in partnership. We have to pay our attention to what God is setting before us. Alam niyo po, maraming opportunities ang dumadaan sa atin that we're already able to miss that out because we've just been so relaxed. Amen? Kaya marami po akong nakikitang relax ngayon. Pumalakpak ang gising. Amen? There is what we called staying in partnership with God. Even Rahab only knew a simple seed of faith. Yet he said, I will not miss this opportunity. I will be in partnership with the Lord. Destiny will not appear on your doorsteps and introduce herself. Tandaan po ninyo. Hindi yung sasabi ng destiny, Hello! Hello, I'm your destiny. Hindi po, you have to search for your destiny. And then next, 
Work as if destiny depends totally to you and pray as if it, it depends to God. Pastora, ano pong ibig mong sabihin dyan? Si Rahab po, natutunan po niya, alamin that for her to be in with that situation, he said, I know I am a harlot. I will not stay what I am right now. I want to take this opportunity. I need to change. I need to be ready. I need to be persistent. And that is why as he persists, he gave his full trust to God. Madalas, the reason why we cannot persist in our battle, number one reason, we keep holding on on our own strength and wisdom. We trust on what we want, not on what the Lord says to us. Number five, napat nandun yung partnership. When we say partnership, we learn how to listen. Sabihin po natin, listen. Partnership is two-way. Si Rahab, nagbigay siya ng agreement dun sa two spies. And the two spies said, okay, I am here. And this is my trade. I want this rope. Pag inilaylay ko to, itong red uh, rope na to, scarlet na to, it means this is our uh, agreement. And that partnership in honor po ng Panginoon. Church, if you want to continue to persist in life, be in partnership with the Lord. Not with your strength, not with your wisdom, not with your wealth, but in the hands of the Lord. Amen? Number six, Never be locked by the unknown fear. Never be locked. Minsan natatakot tayo sa mga bagay na hindi katakot-takot. Be ready to take the chain off your brain. Even the person, sometimes yung mga tao pang mahal mo, yun pa yung nagbibigay ng takot sa'yo. Tama po ba? Sila pa yung nagdi-discourage. But Rahab, believe in her heart. Even though these people probably will trying to ridicule me because I betrayed them, but this is not for the betrayal only of the uh, of this of this community, but the saving. No, alam niyo po, what Rahab did is a big step of the saving grace of God to the whole Israelites. At dahil po kay Rahab, sino po ang isinilang sa mundong ito na nagbigay ng kaligtasan? It is Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, is in the lineage of Rahab. Nasa lahi ni Jesus Christ, si Rahab. And take note, being a harlot, what does it mean? Ano man ang nakaraan mo, ano mang dumi ng buhay mo, the Lord can change the history of your life. Amen? Give a hand to the Lord. Praise God. Never be lacked by the unknown fear. Learn to get comfortable with exposures and change. Let us go out of our comfort zone. Young people, maybe you're scared to explore things that the Lord wants you to do. Never, ever be scared because your destiny, the destiny seekers live in the creative ones. Kaya persistent, never stop. When the Lord giving you promotion in the job, don't be scared. Take the opportunity. Learn the things and then let do it in the strength that comes from the Lord. Naniniwala po ako that all experiences you have will play a role in your destiny. Even the situation and people you must choose to leave behind in order to arrive there. May ilalagay ang Diyos ng mga tao sa atin that will help us to go to our destiny. May ilalagay din ang Diyos ng mga tao sa atin na magbibigay sugat sa atin patungo sa ating destiny. Good or bad, never be lacked by the unknown fear because these things, God will use it to reach your destiny like Rahab. Imagine kung hindi ito ginawa ni Rahab, doon nang galing ang linya ni Jesus Christ. He really wanted to change his life. I need to persist. And I want it now that my life will be changed. Number seven, keep the right company. Can you say it with me? Keep the right company. I admit, Rahab was not in the good company probably. 
Kaya nga 10 years old pa lang siya, mali na yung tinatakbo ng buhay niya. But choice to have a right company is not yet what? Hindi pa naman tapos. She made the decision. If you want to be better out your life, sometimes you've got to do better and that can mean changing your associations. Hindi ka pwedeng maging matagumpay kapag ang mga kasama mo ay ang mga taong maghuhulog sa iyo pababa. You have to change your association. Find friends who will improve you and help you going to your destiny. Humanap ka ng mga kaibigang magpapalago sa pananampalataya mo, hindi yung maglalaglag sa iyo sa bisyo at kasamaan. Amen. Young people, hindi habang buhay kabataan kayo, tandaan nyo, tatanda din kayo. And making the best choice is not next year, the following year. The choice should start now. Pick up the right company. Palakpakan po natin ang pangyayon. Rahab's life was ruined. But this time, she said to herself, I want to change my life. I want to have the good company. Spend and surround yourself. Na-direct ka sa tagumpay. Hindi kung saan namang bishot kasamaan. And limit your time. Hindi ko sinabing, huwag nyo nang mahalin. Masama naman po yun. Sabi nga po, huwag makisama ka. Huwag kang makisama. Amen? They are still soul. soul. You love them. But if your time is spending too much with them, unknowingly, nakakaptured mo na yung mga malaling habits. You can limit your time with them. Those who are drifting you through your life, especially to God. Kapag mga kaibigan nagpapalayo sa iyo sa Diyos, manalangin ka. Is this the right company that I have? Either way, ikaw ang magdala sila sa Panginoon o ikaw ang madala nila sa palayo sa Panginoon. Life is a choice. The company we kept, we keep influences us in more ways than we can realize. Kala mo lang, ikaw ang nakaka-influence, later on, ikaw na pala ang nahawa. Be aware of this. Rahab's life was not a good start. But this time, when he met the two spies and have this big opportunity, she learned to persist and said, this time, I have to be with a good company. Amen? Ngayon po, as I end and give my application, mapapansin po natin that in the life of Rahab, it is not a good start. Hindi po maganda yung simula niya. Pero nakita ko po ang pitong application which I'm gonna just immediately uh, pass through and random this one. One applications that I see in Rahab life. Don't stop. Can you say it with me? Don't stop. It is natural that we have a lot of whys in life. Marami tayong why this, why that. Ba't kailangan magsakripisyo sa church? Ba't magkailangan ganito? Ba't kailangan magda? Magkailangan ganito? There are a lot of whys. But I'm telling you, whatever amount of whys in your life, choose not to stop. I will not stop. I will be persistent. I just request the worship team, please. Betrayal and hurts are natural response. When people or events wants to wreck your destiny, tandaan ninyo, darating sa time, may mga taong akala mo, igagayad ka niya sa destiny. But one day, sila rin pala ang kukuha ng tagumpay na para sa iyo. I want you to open Psalms 27 verse 14. What a wonderful reminder. That in Psalms 27, 14, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart. Wait for the Lord. In-exhort ko po ito kagabi sa LGN network, na, sa LGN natin kagabi. 
We have a fellowship with all the life group leaders. Ang pinakamahirap po ay magantay. Sino po dito paborito magantay? <clears throat> Pero may mga ilang kilala ako dito gusto magantay. And you know what? I believe Rahab. It's not just only year, months that <clears throat> that she waited. Maybe years and years. She's waiting for this opportunity to change her life. She didn't stop until she met these two spies that God used to make a turn around in her destiny. She patiently waited to God. Another application that I saw here, Rahab followed God's plan. When she heard that the Israelites were about to conquer that place, she said to herself, Ayoko mamatay kami buong mag-anak. Ayoko mamatay ang nanay at tatay ko, kapatid ko. This time, what I've heard about the stories of victories, I want to be part of that victories. Church, if you want to be persistent, don't stop. Follow God's plan. Let's read Psalms 138 verse 8. What does it says here in this verse? You need what? That destiny allows me to have a plan. The Lord will vindicate me. Your love, Lord, endures forever. Do not abound, abandon the works of your hand. Ano mang sinimula ng Diyos sa buhay po natin, hindi niya iiwanang andan. Lahat ng sinimula ng Diyos sa atin, tatapusin niya. Amen? Philippians 1.6 He who began a good work in us. Tatapusin po yun ng Diyos. Just stay and follow God's plan. Rahab waited. He persisted. He stay on the course. Sinunod niya yung agreement. And what happened? If you're going to read the preceding chapters, lahat po ng pamilya ni Rahab na save. God can change the history of our life. And a number three application, release the haters in your life. Hello? Release them. Those haters... Just bless them. Release them to the Lord. If you seek God, when you are planning to go stay in the, in the plan of God, you stick in the plan of God. Parang kompas yan, maging flexible ka. And you know what? When you become little by little successful, hindi maiwasan may haters. May maiinggit. Especially in your job. When, do, when you're doing your job well, people will try to what? Uh, try to make stories about you. That's part. But as long where you stand, you will never fail because the Lord is your defender. Amen? Let us open Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in Spirit and on end of one mind. We have to set our mind in Christ. Release those haters. They're not part of your destiny. They might be part of your destiny, but they may be, not be a part of your victory. Number four, gather good information. Nakita ko po kay Rehab in my application. Nag-gather siya ng mga magagandang informasyon. How these Israelites won the victory in the Red Sea. How to fight with Goliath. At yun yung linatag niyang negotiation sa spies. Para makuha din niya ang loob ng two spies, that she really have the faith already. Meron na siyang seed of faith. At pinaniwalaan siya 
And I believe the Lord really direct these two spies in the house of Rahab. Possibly, marami pa rin mga prostitutes siyang kasama doon sa area na yon. But the Lord lead the two spies in Rahab house. Why? Because Rahab is what? Have a ready heart to be transformed. Next, protect your mind. Can you say it with me? Protect your mind. For you to persist and not stop, you have to protect your mind. Protecting your mind or your head so that your journey to your destiny is guided by knowledge rather than feelings. Si Rahab, hindi siya nalid ng emosyon. Basta sa kanya nakafix siya. This time, I want to persist and save my family. Hindi siya dinala ng takot na, ko ba ako ganito, ganyan. Take note, Rahab has been intru- intrude and what we call, in-investigate siya ng mga sundalo. Sinabi sa kanya, nagtago ka dyan ng dalawang spies. Ang galing niya, no? nagawa siya ng uh, script para masabi niya, wala, nandito sila kanina pero umalis na. Pero tinago niya. What does it mean? When you talk about protecting your mind, you should be guided by the Word of God, not with your feelings. Protect your mind with negativities. Now, out of these negativities, but preserve your mind with possibilities, with positive thoughts, so that you can keep going to reach your destiny. That is persistent. Second to the last application, be what God made you to be. Tingnan niyo po yung katabi mo. Sabihin mo, may plano ang Diyos sa'yo. Amen? May plano ang Diyos sa'yo. When the Lord says, I have a plan for you, your experiences make you who you are. Kaya wag mong itapon yung mga pangit at mga negatibong experiences. Those experiences will lead you to become a more matured individual. Ayoko, pastor, ang pag-usapan yung nakaraan ko. I, wanna, I don't want to talk about it. But I'm telling you, use your past as your stepping stone to your victory. No experience that are wasted. Do you agree with me? No experience that are meaningless. If you are just willing to take a lesson learned towards to your destiny. And last, be willing and explore. Be willing. Maging willing ka. Yung persistency, kailangan tinitest. Whatever God put you in this situation, be willing and explore God's ways. Gusto ko lang pong balikan yung verse po sa 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Napakaganda po. I was able to mention it. Persecuted but not abandoned. Struck down but not destroyed. People were trying to ridicule you and break you into pieces. Outwardly, you are wasting away. But inwardly, you are being renewed day by day. I was in Port Saskatchewan. The ad, kanina po, sabi ko nga ang ating kapatid, uh, my friend, Sister Maricon, sabi ko, alkilala ko siya pag walang pera, nakapustura. Bakit wala ka ng pera? Malungkot ka pa. Magayos ka. Tingnan niyo po yung katabi niyo. Either pag maayos yan, walang pera yan o maraming pera. <laughs> what does it mean? Hallelujah! Si Rahab, hindi siya nagpahalatang takot. Kahit na broken ang kanyang spi- ang sarili niya, because of her job being a harlot or prostitute. But this time, sabi niya, outwardly, I am wasting away, but inwardly, I am being renewed by the Lord. Amen? Araw-araw, tayo nire-renew ng Lord. And when the Lord give us an explore, let's open Psalms 119, 164 to 65 as I end. Sabi po doon sa verse na yon, Seven times a day, I praise you for your righteous law. Great peace have those who love your law, and nothing can make them stumble. Kapag naglalakad po kayo sa prinsipyo ng Diyos, 
Hindi kayo takot mag-explore ng mga opportunities sa buhay. You are standing strong in the firm foundation. Be willing and explore what God is telling you to do. Never stop. As I conclude, and I request everyone to please rise. God owes you no explanation for allowing the painful circumstances. Madalas po, ayaw nating mag-persist. Mas gusto nating mag-resist. Ayaw ko na, pastora. Lalayo na lang. I wanna go out. I gonna go isolate. Alam niyo po ba na alam naman ng Diyos, sometimes you will commit wrong judgment. Amen? The Lord also know that sometimes we will commit commit mistakes or choices in life. But take note, God owes you no explanation for allowing those painful failures and mistakes. Ang ano lang pong pinangako ng Lord, that He promised that He will be with you and provide comfort in your, what? In you during hard times. Amen? Palakpakan nga po natin ng Lord. Yun naman yung pangako niya eh. Huwag ka nang mag-explain. Ang pangako ko sa'yo, sasamahan kita. Not all our choices are okay. Sometimes we commit mistakes. Rest in the assurance that God is with you. Embrace your persistent hope and never drop your destiny by setting for less, settling for less. Mga kapatid, huwag lang kayong umupo at sapat na yan. Use your life for God. Give your life for God. Persist. And at the end, you will have your reward. Amen? We will sing this song. Gusto ko pong awitin when every time I sing what one of our members in the one team who make this composition. Totoo naman po, hindi pwedeng bumitaw. Hindi pwedeng uminto. It is because ang dahilan po natin why we keep pursuing and persisting and serving the Lord because mahal po natin ang Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Worship Him and declare ng Diyos po ang dahilan natin. Amen? Sa ating pag-ilingkod. Siya ang dahilan ng lahat ba tayo na bumuhay. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Jesus. We bless you, we bless you, Lord. Yeah. 
Manatili. 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 Sa aking pagmamahal, ipinaranas mo. Manatili. 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 Sa aking pagmamahal, ipinaranas mo. Habag mo'y taglan Hindi sasayang Kaligtasan Kaligtasan kaluob At ingatan Hanggang sa'yo Pagpapalik Father, we thank you Our prayer. This is what we want, Lord. We want your mercy, God. Thank you, Lord. Listening to this song is a reminder that the life we have is really we loan from the Lord. We owe it to God and no one can even boast of what will come in the coming days. May the Lord continue to strengthen us and give us this life to continually persist, continue to serve Him. Like the life of Rahab, she didn't start right with the good records of her character, of her life, of her present condition. It's not a good start, but she chose to be persistent to make a new life. Hindi po tayo pwedeng tumigil because at the end of the day, all of us are bound. Amen for eternity. And we need to prepare ourselves. Amen. Shall we sing that song? Hindi po tayo. Wedding to Miguel. Come on, let's give a hand to the Lord. Walang makakapigil. Hindi pwedeng tumigil. Sa akin. Tungo sa puso mo Walang makakabigil Hindi pwede tumigil Sa aking paglalakbay Tungo sa puso mo Thanks to 
God. This is our prayer, Lord. in the life of Rhea. There will be haters. There will be people trying to, to get us, Lord, away from the destiny that you've set. But thank you, Lord, that there is one Rahab in the Bible. A very short story, yet allow us to see, God, that whatever our past doesn't matter. What matters, Lord, is we made a choice and continue to persist until we reach our destiny. Lord, I pray for the strength to your people. Continue, Father. Give them the wisdom and the discernment on how to run the race in this world. Sometimes, Father, we're so feel tired and we don't want to move anymore. But let them be reminded, like Rahab God, it was able to make a hundred percent turn around change of her life because a choice that was made is to continue to persist and change her life together with her family father bless everyone whatever lord they are experiencing even those watching via live streaming those who are sick those who are bedridden right now those having lord difficulty financially difficulties lord or any broken relationship father right now as they lift their hands unto you let this message oh god of truth that you are a god who remained the same yesterday today and forever that you are a god that can change the history of our life bless everyone and may them experience your mighty power of healing and even deliverance and transformation of life Wherever they are, Lord, even those hearing this message, Father, touch them. Prove to them that you are a loving God, that you are the God who doesn't change. And even, Lord, today, I release and I pray that whatever burdens we have right now, Lord, hallelujah, these trials, this persecution will never allow us to stop. But instead, we will continue to embrace that persistent hope that you have promised to each and every one of us. For truly, you are our joy. And that joy brings us complete strength to fight a good fight of faith. Father, we bless you. We thank you and we honor you. In Jesus' name.